Okay, soldiers, we have made it to the finale episode of Instant Influencer. All right, who's going to win? We don't know, except I already know because I watched this when it came out. But possibly you don't know. <laughs> and we're going to get into this right now. Okay. Hi! Hi! And today, I have something extra special for you. We started the competition with six artists. I can't believe I'm here. The best. Oh, Bubbles. The best of the best, remember. I woke up at 12 3. Oh my god. And we're now down to our final three. <laughs> Ashley, the winner of today's contact challenge is Ashley. My top of the week is Ashley. Two challenges in a row, baby. Benny, you were the winner of today's contact challenge. Oh my gosh, I have a win. I think you're a star. Thank you so much, that means a lot. And Kaylin, you did the best in today's challenge. Congratulations, Kaylin, you are the winner. All right. You turn this out, you whore. Thank you. I feel amazing. With 50,000 <laughs> oh dollars on the line. <laughs> It all comes down to this. You guys want to be trendsetters, not followers. This is something that could completely change my life. It's now. This is a disaster. Let's go! Or never. I'm a little bit worried with this. I don't know what to do. I'm stressing out. Why are you taking everything off? I wish I had my son here. This is it. I have to nail this. I am a badass bitch. Time is up. Stop working. Oh, she looks good. We do. The way that this will feel complete is if I win. But in the end, only one can become instant influencer. Waking up this morning, I feel ready. Being a young mom is challenging in a lot of ways. How old was I when I had you? 16. Straight up, right? But in retrospect... Oh my god, her I son's like... Old enough. All I'm thinking about is what the fuck? She had him in 16? I fuck. can't believe how much is at stake. I want to find out what the challenge is. Like, right now, I'm ready to compete and I'm ready to win this. Period. I cannot believe I made it to the top. I'm literally a senior in high school from a tiny town in Pennsylvania, and it's so, so, so hard to have opportunities like this competition. And I'm in the finale. That is crazy. Out of thousands of people, I would- I know, I know, Manny. Three. I do not have words to express how happy I am from this experience. This has been the craziest ride of my life. He's still in high school. That's why James brought him, yeah. Have done has made me so strong. I'm so honored that I have made it this far, but I am not leaving until people know what I stand for and who I am. What do you stand for, Queen? Who are you, Queen? Good morning, Good my morning. final three. Good morning. Before we jump in today, I just want to say to all three of you, I am so incredibly proud of you guys and the journeys that we have been on the past few weeks together. This has been such an incredible experience for me that I will never forget, and I hope all of you guys feel the same exact way. Yes. yes. Regardless of the outcome of today, you all three are beauty superstars. At the end of last week, I did tell you guys I wanted you to think big, and because of that, we are focusing on just the elimination challenge today. There is no compact challenge. That means that there's no advantage. Here. Staying on top of trends and creating trends is arguably the most valuable skill an influencer can have. Oh, I remember what this challenge is. Ooh, this was a this was a hard challenge. If I'm correct, they had to create a next the next viral trend on social media or something like that. That's a fucking hard thing. If someone hit me with that, oh, I'm fucked. That had the beauty community gagging, and suddenly everyone was recreating them. The Bratz challenge, Bob Ross painting, my palette campaign looks, and so many other creative concepts. I love how you said viral moments that all the community was doing, like Bob Ross, or my makeup. <laughs> Today, I'm challenging you guys to create the next mega makeup moment. That's hard. Wants us to create That's hard. Mega makeup moment? Are you kidding me? They're a bit unpredictable. Trying to just create one on the That is hard. Is really hard. But there's so much at stake today. So, yeah, I'm definitely ready for this. For this challenge, you guys are going to have three hours to brainstorm and create your makeup looks and an additional 45 minutes with my personal photographer where you will get to be your own creative director to shoot and select your final photos for deliberation. Mm -hmm. We have a whole studio set up with lots of backdrops, props, so we want you guys to get creative and do whatever you want. For these looks today, I need you guys to go bold. <laughs> On the line, just to remind you guys, is a full lighting and video package to make your content gorgeous, a collaboration video with me, and also $50,000. And only one can be our first ever instant influencer. It feels amazing. And by the way, there never was another instant influencer. <laughs> James Charles and the show got dropped after this because of the scandals. This competition. That means that I'm really talented and I belong here. I made it this far and I'm so much closer to Instant Influencer, the one and only. Everything to me. 
Enough of the emotions, though, because we have a challenge to do. Remember to blend, but don't blend in. Thank God that's the only last time we're hearing that. Challenge starts right now. Good luck, you guys. I came here for a reason, and I am ready to be crowned instant influencer. But coming up with the idea is the most challenging part about this. It needs to be simple. I'd be so fucked if I had to come up with one. I'd give up, honestly. I'd just give up, or I'd copy. You have the next person's jambic. What are you doing? Look for a hot minute. So you already have something in mind, Vinny? Um, yeah, I've been having it in mind since I even got on the plane to come here. What? Like, tell me your idea, Vinny. I'm joking. Okay, so do you know those? Oh, like... you're serious. What? Vinny, this is a competition. Oh. I'm going to do something very unique, very big. So keep in mind, the entire episode centers around that Benny's idea has been something that he's been thinking of for a very long time, okay? Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Excited to finally put together a look that I've been wanting to do for so long, and I cannot wait to impress the judges because I feel like this look is the one. This look is the one. On camera, I'll tell you that. Girl, you look good with without makeup. You look good in every angle. Thank you. What about you, uh, Caitlin? Are you nervous? No, I'm not. I had like a realization last night that I am a badass bitch. I had like this light bulb that went off. Like, I cannot let myself get bogged down by my own self doubt. Like, I think I realized I'm so worried all the time of other people's opinions that like I stifle, I allow myself to stifle myself creatively. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just realized that like I know exactly who I am, I know exactly what I want to do. <laughs> Beauty is from within. Beauty is being able to embrace yourself and love yourself for every flaw that you have. So I wanted to come up with a trend that would inspire people. Yep, it was Dangerous Woman vibes, Andrew. <laughs> to say it lightly. One side could represent who you are perceived as. Oh my gosh, she wants to leave. And then on the other side, this is the side that is you. Creative, sexy, strong, and dude. Okay, that's gotta be enough. I'm so excited for Oh wait, I don't know if she goes... I don't know if she goes ahead with this, but that is such an overused thing as well. Like words written on your face or on your body that people perceive you as. That is the most overdone thing of all fucking time, by the way. So it's not her idea as well. Okay, I want to go for a really hot So I hope she doesn't do that, but I fear she does. I'm going to make it work. Oh, perfect. An exacto knife. Be careful. Don't try us at home. I feel like people are going to think I'm like so like inappropriate because I'm going for like a kinky bunny look, but I'm not that inappropriate, I swear. Oh my god. Ah! I'm like in my head right now. As I'm brainstorming for this viral trend challenge, I'm trying to keep in mind what is actually trendy right now. I am very inspired by fashion, so one of the most trendy brands right now is the Off-White brand, which has completely stripped down the concept of fashion to very simplistic labels. I felt what they did with fashion, I can do with makeup, and it would translate immediately. I'm about to look crazy first. I hope this works. However, it is- First of all, who are we all rooting for in the comments? Who are we all rooting for? I'm getting a lot of Ashleys in the comments. I'm looking here. I'm seeing a lot of Ashleys. Oh, there's a poll. Okay, Ashley winning with 46,000. And then Benny and then Keelan. Okay. It's an idea that already exists. Work. If this doesn't come off as original, I could completely lose this competition. So how you feeling, Ash? I'm a little bit nervous about my concept, to be honest. I wish I had my son here to like ask him if this idea was a good one. <sighs> These ears are taking so much time. Oh, I love that. Oh. Hello, you guys. Up, hello, hello. We are about 30 minutes in, so I wanted to come on by. Let me start with Kaylin. Hello, beautiful. Hi. Do you want to talk over there? Yeah. James really does set like 80% of the trends in this business, and I am excited to hear. No, I think he steals 80% of the trends in this business. What he has to say, because I know that this trend, with the message behind it, could really empower people, and there is nothing- It's such an overdone trend. So quickly walk you through, it seems like you're gonna be doing writing on the cheeks and then flowers and glitter. I believe that beauty is loving yourself and embracing yourself for your flaws, basically saying F you, yeah. like I'm gonna be me kind yep. of thing. So like on one side, I wanted to put like you know, how I've been perceived. Yeah, okay. And then on this side, I wanted to- Girl, you don't need to whisper. We are not gonna steal that from you. Successful trends we've seen go viral on Instagram or on YouTube have really been the ones that have a message behind that. So this seems really good. Just such you know, naive is spelled N-A-I-V-E. And it's, there's two little dots over the I. There's two dots overnight. It's N-A-I with two dots. I don't even know that. This is nieve, which is snow in Spanish, so. <laughs> Correct that. Thank you. Your face. You're welcome. Good luck. Jesus. Oh, I'm a fool. 
Okay. <laughs> what, I know. It, it's what exactly is going on it's here? It's going to come together. Okay. That's actually what I had a question about, because yeah. if this is a no, then I'm going to completely change my concept, which okay. I'm kind of freaking out about. This is new for you. Freaking out. I'm a little bit nervous. Okay. So I know that trends are typically inspired by everything that's relevant, and yes. brands have a lot to do with that. Yes. I know that we cannot put actual Brand, brand names, names yep. but can it be inspired by yes. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's definitely fine. Boom. There's clever ways you can pimp to around that's, that's everything right. as long as you're that's not That's what I thought exactly I was going to do. I just wanted to make sure that like, it wasn't going to be yeah. like a total like sister lawsuit. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want a sister suing. No sister suing. Yes! I'm so relieved James thinks that this is a great idea. I'm going to go for it. I'm so excited. Thank Good you. Good luck. Thank Yay. you. Okay, so I had this idea in my head for weeks, and I'm so happy I finally get to like create it. Yeah. It's a mixture of like this bunny mask, like rare. It's like kind of like what Ariana Grande wore in Dangerous Women. Mm -hmm. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to actually be a bunny. So it's like a bunny wearing the mask. Okay. I'm a little bit worried with this because it is very, very similar to what Ari wore in that music video. What's What's your messaging behind it? Um. None. Sure. You need to come up with your concept and you need to have a strong message behind it. That's what's going to sell it and that's what's going to make the audience want to love it and also recreate it. And I'm worried that almost like this look, you're kind of hiding behind this like Benny mask. Yeah. And I want to see- Wow, James, that is so deep. So think of your look. Think of what I just told you about you and showing us who Benny truly is. Because this is a- James, step. you're so deep. I want to see you create something unique. All right? Unique! That's what you are. Okay. Stilettos. Well, James told me, kind of threw me off because I have no other idea. And I already have my ears. But I thought you worked on that one for ages, babe. Effort. You guys, I'm gonna tell everybody this just like I just told Benny. You want these looks to be unique. You guys want to be unique? trendsetters, not followers. And remember, you guys, there's fifty thousand dollars on the line here. Got it, James. My unique concept is Ariana Grande. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I'm stressing out. This is not good. Like, this is bad. I don't know what to do now. What did he say? He was like, it's not original because Ariana Grande did it and- But you said that you were doing it because Ariana did it. That's, all, that's the only thing I'm gonna say. I mean, he's literally the one that's gonna be judging your look. You could put a spin on what you've created because you were really passionate about creating that. James thinks my look is unoriginal, but it's my fault for not explaining it thoroughly. So I'm writing down what I think the look means to me and why it's unique. And I'm just gonna go with it, even though I know I'm taking a risk continuing with this look. Do you, boo. Benny's weakness is that his concepts typically don't make much sense, or at least they don't relate to what he's trying to portray. Well, look at my hair, ooh. My hair's so slick. <laughs> The devil is upon us. And Kaylin is my girl, but she is a hot mess. What did you just do? I almost spelled one of my things wrong. Like a total idiot. So at this point, I'm feeling pretty good. I have never done precision work like this before. This top three is... No big deal, because my idea is a very simple idea, but I have never written letters on a face. Oh my God, this is scary. And the liner is really hard to work with because it's a felt tip. You're right over there. And I see that Ashley's also writing her on her face, and I'm a little bit like, Oh crap, I'm gonna spell something wrong. <laughs> but I know that my idea is so unique because this look is so personal to me. Unique? Does that look right reading it downward in OS? Yeah. I'm like so stressed. I got you, girl. I love them so much, but the other girls are just doing writing on their face. My look involves. Okay, so Banny's dragging the girls. Let's wait until we see his final look. A lot of techniques. I'm literally putting cotton on my face with spirit gum. That's commitment. Oh, I can't break out my nose. Holy shit. <laughs> and I feel like that's what makes an instant influencer. Someone who will risk their own skin. Are y'all gonna be doing this trend from Banny? What is happening? That looks really good, Benny. Thank you. Why does this look green? I'm getting a little worried about the eyes because I've got flowers going on on this side. I've got gems going on on this side. It's a little busy. I'm hoping that they get the idea that the eyes are also part of my story. She's just doing Coachella. They might think this just looks like a hot mess. Yeah, she's just doing Coachella. Oh, Benny. I'm just going to put these ears on. I'm just going to put a shit ton of spirit gum. The ears are not sticking to my head. This is this is good. And I feel like since I have no time, I'm literally just rushing and doing whatever I can to get it done. Even though I feel comfortable with my look and the trend, today's the finale, and I'm so close to winning. But if my ears fall off, it could ruin the look. I have done. Oh yeah, that'll be the one that ruins the look. I'll be fine with my fifty thousand dollars. Shots fired. Hopefully they stay on. That's all I'm asking for. Artists, you guys have about 10 minutes remaining. Don't forget, you have a photo shoot after, so you want to make sure your makeup is perfect and ready to go and camera ready. James, come Why is this close-up of James? Serious anxiety. What do you guys think? You think I look finished? Like, no shade, Benny, but please stop talking to me. This is, like, all the pressure in the world right now, and I just need to get this done. I'm running out of time. 
and just writing the words is a lot more difficult than I anticipated. Not to me. It's a second decision. I realize I'm in over my head with my original concept. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I think they all suck. I'm not gonna <laughs> be able to execute these words on both sides of my face and still have enough time Sorry. to look. And so Benny's I decide that I'm gonna create half of my face transparent. Why are you taking everything off? This is a disaster. Oh, baby. Oh, no. This is yeah, but, yeah, they've done the same thing, basically, a little bit. Transparent materials into their brand, so I hope that this really translates the way I want it to. But in order to really finish my look, I decide that I'm going to create a zip tie. I really hope that the judges get it. Just when I think I'm being organized, I lose lash. Oh, it's going to be a month. This is like Charmin Ultra Quilt. Three, two. One artist, you're I don't even get what Betty's concept is. You guys know what it is now? Photo shoot time. We're going to have 45 minutes each with my good friend and personal photographer, John Sams. We did a random selection, and Kaylin, you will get to go first. All right. Good luck putting together your photo. Thank you guys. And we will see you guys at the judging panel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm John. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This looks gorgeous. Oh my gosh, thank you. What are you thinking of doing for your shoot? I want these balloons right here with this crown. Cool. For my photo shoot, I really want it to kind of show that like I'm an open book. So what is the half and half? It's things people think versus what I am. So I love the crown. With that storyline, I'd put it more on the, the, side? the side that you're feeling and living with. Okay, that's a good point. Perfect, right there. For the first time in this entire competition. This is, sorry, this last level, I'm so disappointed in all three of them. Truly did not believe that I deserve a spot in the top six. And for me to have made- But it's a hard challenge. It's a hard challenge. I'm really grateful. I think this is the one. That's the one? That one, got it, done. It's a hard challenge. Oh my gosh. So what's the whole idea with your look? Very fun <laughs> and very fun. But also very liberating and feeling like letting go of yeah, all stress. I mean, a glitter red lip's always liberating. Yeah, so I'm thinking like, <laughs> Like okay. very good poses, Full fun pose. Yes, I have never done a photo shoot before, but I feel so fierce. I'm doing a cute little bunny prancing look. Gorgeous. And I feel like James's photographer is living for it. Do you want to keep shooting or are you happy with that one? I like that one. I'm very confident with the shot I chose because I felt this one was perfect. Yep, that's me. I know James said to go big, but I do kind of want to see what this ruler is going to look like because the ruler is what's going to be kind of here, like measuring my profile. Yeah, I'll play with it, yeah. I am getting a little bit nervous that my concept isn't going to translate as thinking big because it's quite minimalist. Chin up just a bit. Furry on a grande mm. work. I kind of like that. He's a kid, so this kind of tracks. Well, well, why did they get rid of, like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? We should be, this is on the judges. And this is on the people that organize this show. If they're giving us furry on a grande, shout out to my furries. Love y'all. No shade. Um, if we're getting furry on a grande on the final, we're allowed to talk about it, regardless of the fact of they're a senior in high school or whatever. It's on the judges. We've been told that these are the best of the best. It's a competition. I can critique them all. Do you want to say you're good? Um... Wait a minute. What? I see this black tape and I come up with an idea. I want to put two black here and then two black here, but like as even as possible. These quotations are going to tie this whole photo shoot together and give all of the minimalistic attributes to this. Okay, that works well. Good for her. <gasps> that looks f cool as I still don't love it, but it's better than the other two. Hands up. High five. I want to win this for my son. I want my son to be a- They all kind of look a mess. This is the best of the best. And it finally sinks in. This is it. I don't know how they're not giggling at Benny. Hello, artists, and welcome to the judging of your final elimination challenge of instant. His fucking skirt dress. How does it feel to be here for the last time? Amazing. It feels great. It's bittersweet. I am so incredibly proud of each and every single one of you. It has been such a pleasure watching you Benny. the past few weeks. And I want all three of you to know that nobody is truly going home a loser. From this, I will hope that you guys will get to grow your platforms, artistry, and of course, your skill set. I am so excited to see your photos that you guys prepared for us today, but I'm even more thrilled to watch your journeys after the show and see what your true potential is. This experience has been life-changing. No one in my small town has ever made it this big like me. So I'm definitely gonna be the word around the street. Before we jump in, for the last time this season, I want to tell you guys about our judges for today. Since this was a trend challenge, who better to join us than Mario Danovanovic? Mario is a celebrity makeup artist who has created some of Kim K's most memorable looks that we all know and love. Um, the Mario. Like, 
I don't even know what the Mario? Mario. Where's Luigi? Also, you guys know Norvina by now. She's the president and creative director of one of the biggest and trendiest makeup brands in the entire world. Tonight, only one of you can get the title of our first ever instant influencer, a full lighting and video package to make your videos beautiful, in collaboration with me on my YouTube channel, and finally, $50,000. Mm-hmm. All right, artists, let's take a look at your final photo. I'm disappointed in all three of them. A mega makeup moment will happen. Ashley, you're going to go first. Kaylin and Ben, you guys can take a seat. This is the most high pressure challenge. Not only is this the final challenge, but it was basically creating a moment out of thin air. And the fact that's also that true. Is sitting right in front of me and about to judge me on this is really, really nerve wracking. All right, Ashley, let's see your image for today. Oh, wow, this is stunning. Oh, I like that. Tell us about this look today. So this is inspired by the Off-White Chloe brand. I really like the concept of stripping fashion down to just like labels, and so I decided to do that, but with my face. Okay, I do want to commend you on this photo composition because I think it is super, super cool. Thank this you. is definitely something that I would want to recreate for my Instagram. I'm sure like you guys can both imagine me doing something like this on my feed. I personally love Off-White stuff. I also love the addition of the DIY little earring as well to match the hang tags. <laughs> yeah. Super, super cool. Thank you. But why is your face painted a lighter shade on your right hand side yes and what made you make this decision straight black lines are really difficult to create on round surfaces Very. so once i realized that i was running out of time and i didn't think that it would be smart to do the letters on my whole face but i thought that i just don't love any of them clear effect on the other side would still maintain the brand aesthetic i would have turned this completely to the side profile nobody would have ever known that you didn't even do the other side you could have fooled us all I love this whole idea and I love this whole concept. It's very fashion forward. It's very editorial. Thank you. I think the way that you wrote cheek and the jawline and the lips, absolutely flawless. I think the eye area gets starts to get a little bit messy and confusing and the nose area is really what, what does it for me. The art of editing is really important. The art of editing oneself. I would have loved to see this uh, without the quotation marks on it. I think it would have really cleaned it up and I wish you would have just eliminated the nose altogether. That would have really strengthened the look for me. You're right. First of all, I think the look is absolutely beautiful, and I think it could be very easily replicated, and I think that is the key here. Detail-wise, I think that, much like Mario said, there were some things that could have been cleaned up, and I was questioning why you didn't fill in your ear, because I just keep staring at it the whole time. No. I noticed you put eye underneath the eye, but brows plural above the one brow. I wish that was matching. I knew you were going to say that. And then also, you're missing the quotation marks from cheek, and then also lips. Yes. I knew my lines were not super clean and that my letters are a bit wonky in some areas. How the fuck did he notice that? Like I didn't notice that. Be the next mega makeup moment. Benny, why don't you come hop on over? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very, very pumped to see this photo. Why don't we take a look? Ooh, very hippity hoppity. Tell us about this look today and why you created it. Okay, when we were talking earlier and you kind of were like, iffy about me doing this look, I took time afterwards to write down why I want to do this look. I want to show that I am very quiet, sweet, innocent, hopping all over, bunny on the bottom, but I'm also very fierce. Yeah, it's like putting on a mask. I guess in my whole life I've always been putting on an act because I've been always trying to act all happy, but I was always just very depressed and always felt like I had nothing. And then I came here and I felt like I'm here for a reason and I, I matter. You do matter. And I'm so proud of you for realizing that and feeling that internally and it definitely reflects in this look today. Okay, that's a, a very valid story, but that does not reflect in that look pouring at my heart and showing this look i feel like the connections of my emotions and yeah that should have been his entrance oh, I really look am. i think it's a very successful from episode one the overall photo is really cute yeah this is not the, the challenge the challenge is to create a viral moment cover them in black nail polish to make them very like glossy nail polish yeah black oh, nail polish that is dedication and super glue and i put that on my skin and i oh, commitment gosh. commitment i feel like the ears you could have just made it a lot more simple. A piece of construction paper, some prose glue would have stuck them on in one second. It would have come out a lot more crisp, a lot more clean. I think it could have been cleaned up a bit. It's beautifully executed, Benny. I think you're definitely artistic and that shows and how crafty to use nail polish. Can you still breathe? When I was like first thing on, I really snipped up a lot of cotton. But <laughs> come in. Yeah. Okay. Give me his pain. I'm very proud of you for putting all that work and thought into it, but it's not always about that. Mm -hmm. This challenge is for everyone to copy it or to recreate. Yes. People want something a little easy, a little fun. I definitely should have like thought of that before I started this. Thank James you. tried to tell you in his defense. To this makeup look, I love what you did with the lower part of the face. I think it's really cool and creative. I think the textures with those colors with the glitter lips, um, it looks really fun and cute. When I look at this look though, I, I'm not seeing a trend. I'm seeing like a Halloween look, a fun little mm -hmm. DIY Halloween look. All right, maybe this is the next Halloween trend. Thank you, Mario. <sighs> Oh. Okay, Kaylin, show us your photo from today. All right. Ooh. Wow, fun. 
It was a lot of fun to create. It's totally. I think this is the most beautiful picture. But it's overdone and boring. Mm -hmm. And then on this side, you would do something that you feel. Bubbles! Yeah. Yes! The Bubbles is back. These are things that I have been told my entire life. People think I'm naive because I'm kind, and I'm not kind because I'm naive. Bubbles Easter I'm egg. Because I know what it's like to lose people you love. I lost my father, I lost my best friend, and I am a product of alcoholism, drug use, mental abuse. But those things, they made me who I am today. I am no cookie, cookie cutter little white girl. <laughs> I have seen some stuff, okay? And Wait, where did all of that come from? I stifle my creativity because I am not this or too much of this. I'm a bad bitch. Thank you for sharing all that, Kaylin. It has been a blessing getting to watch you throughout this competition so far. You are such a sweet soul. That was crazy. I really like this. I think that's a really cool concept, and I think that this is something a lot of people would want to recreate, and it would be very easy to recreate as well. So many people have gone through not exactly the same challenges, but of course everyone has their challenges throughout their life, and I feel like a lot of people feel misunderstood, and this could be such a cool opportunity for people to really showcase... This was not finale-worthy on any of y'all. Really? On any of y'all. But when I look at this photo, I don't see confidence. There's a lot of things about this though that I do love. Um, I think the words underneath the eyes by itself is really, it's, it has like a hardcore rock element, like very kind of street raw, yeah. but then it's coupled with these sort of colorful flowers on top and they're fighting with me a little bit. The, the, the different features are fighting with me a little bit. She put the side that is everything that people think of her first and the one that represents who you really are in the back. So yeah, that's, that's my one oh, note. That's true. If you're gonna step into it, yeah. step in. Thank you. That's true. True. Oh. My final three artists, thank you guys so much for sharing your photos with us today. Your work was absolutely incredible, and I'm really proud of you guys for taking on this challenge today. I know it was not easy, but I think all three looks were super cool in their own ways. We definitely have a lot to discuss here on the judging panel. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you... <laughs> will be crowned the first ever instant influencer. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, my we God. We are almost done. I literally cannot believe it. So crazy. How you doing over there, Benny? Yeah. Those, those had a time limit on them. They really did. Let's hope these last. Okay, you guys, we have a really big decision in front of us. Why don't we start off with Ashley? To me, it's the one that I would definitely want to jump on and do because it's clean. Yeah. And it's not difficult. I don't feel like you have to have incredibly advanced artistry skills to do it, minus the block brow. But one of the things that is, of course, challenging when setting the trend is it's very hard to set. I think what we need to look at, because none of this is really good at all. Overall in the competition, the winner is obvious. It's Ashley. With this last competition, they all flopped. It's too much. When you're doing an homage, it doesn't have to be so yeah. identical. I thought the DIY earring was so genius. Was oh genius. my gosh, that was yeah, such that was a cool good. idea, but I could have gone without the tool and without the ruler. Without I think that would have made it a stronger photo. Yeah. She missed out on the quotation marks around the lips and the cheeks, and I don't think the clear element that she was going for really translated to the photo, which was very surprising to me because she's usually very on top of those type of things. I mean, she's killed it so far. I just still want to see so- Oh my God, not James doing the mugshot challenge where he painted bruises on himself. Yeah, he's great with challenges. On over oh to boy. Benny the Bunny. This is hard for me because there's something very endearing about Benny. Um, very charming, very sweet. This is annoying me. Like, Benny has gotten through to the finale, no shade, with every single guest judge being like, there's something endearing, there's something sweet, there's something I don't give a shit. Put talent three. <laughs> like, come on, bring back bubbles, bring back indigo, bring back Mother Nature. Like, I don't get it. Um, he's easy. He's like a sort of person that's very easy to love. But I just didn't love the look and I didn't love the photograph. It was not my favorite. I didn't get to see him. I didn't get to see like his face. I didn't really get to see his eyes. I didn't really get to see who Benny was. Right. I have to agree with Mario. And I think that while this is artistic, it can be a little scary for some. Yeah. And definitely not something that I would run out and want to replicate. But at least the character had a really good explanation yes. behind it. I think Did it? Benny is lacking is just an understanding and a read on what it means to be influential. But he's also very young if they understand. He's 18 years old and... Okay, well, maybe you shouldn't have hired 18-year-olds for your fucking competition. I know James likes them that age, but seriously, time and place. You have gotten someone through to the finale based on the fact that they're 18 years old. I just think, Piss me off. You can imagine all of the little boys out there around the world that have a similar story to him, yeah. that could relate to him. Um, so I do think, influencer-wise, I do think that he has the potential to be a really great and powerful influencer. Agree. Let's go ahead and move on to Kaylin. Little boys, you say, James says? His ears perk up. Send them my way, James says. 
opened up. I even started to get emotional. In terms of the actual photograph composition, Kaylin's was by far my favorite of the three. It felt very euphoria to me. Yeah. Which is very trendy right now, and very. that's the point of the challenge. I also thought the overall concept is really cool. That part I thought was cool. It was just the flowers and the glitter, and then it was just too much going oh. on. The hand, yeah. and then the, the deer and headlights pose. I think that she went in wanting to give us her all, and, and I think it could have been a little bit more clean and executed. Trend-wise, I think the words would be replicated, but I don't think I would necessarily want to replicate those splotches or the well, dots. Well, no, and splotches. The point, though, the trend is the words, and then you create your own eye look based on whatever your words are to True. tie them together. Yeah, True. that is a cool concept. This has been the most incredible experience in the entire world. Knowing that just one of us gets to win this is, is hard to accept because I feel like we all deserve it. But I, I, the way that this will feel complete is if I win. I think at the end of the day, the way I look at it, is, this is a <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. You have the ability and the potential to be the next James Charles. And when I think about people like you, you have the total package. <laughs> so you have to have it. You have to bring it. You have to be marketing savvy. You have to know how to talk. You have to know how to present yourself. So whoever the winner is should be able to do all of that too. And be a talented artist while they're at it. Of course. Well, this was definitely not easy, no. but I think we have a final decision. We do. Nope. Yeah, Banny's ear falling off while saying that. Hi, artists. We've come to a decision, but I first want to say some words to each one of you. Kayla, Betty, call me later. You made the competition. You couldn't believe that you would ever get picked. But in every single challenge, you've proven that you are talented and that you deserve to be here. Tonight, you blossomed and sparkled, and I'm so glad that I finally got to see you. This journey has been so unreal. I've learned to appreciate my own artistry. I like her a lot. I am a really good artist. Like they all look bad tonight. <laughs> nothing but gratitude and nothing but like I I can do that. Like I am that. I can slay the beauty community and I'm about to. You will see. Ashley, you came into this competition strong and polished. <laughs> the ear coming in. Slowly, and I do mean very 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 slowly. You finally let your guard down, and I'm so grateful that you let us in and we got to see your humor and warmth. And your mega makeup moment that you created today was major. I am a squeezing Kaylin and Benny's hands. I am like hoping I'm not breaking them, but at this point I like can't feel anything in my body. My heart is beating in my throat. I have never felt my eyes so hot before, but I'm really excited to become a lot more vulnerable on my channel and for my subscribers because I do believe that I have a story to tell, and I can't wait to relate to all of you. Benny. Tonight, you did an amazing job at showing us the two sides of yourself. This bunny look was cute, creative, and a little bit cheeky as well. Over the past few weeks, it has been great seeing you grow as an artist, but I have loved watching you grow so much as a person. Thank you so much. Being here, I learned to be humble, to be confident. <laughs> uh, I feel so mean, but I just can't take it seriously. <laughs> was cute, creative, and a little bit cheeky as well. Over the past few weeks, it has been great seeing you grow as an artist, but I have loved watching you grow so much as a person. Thank you so much. Being here, I learned to be humble, be confident, don't hide behind something, and be you, because you're only one person, and you can only show yourself. Honestly, this was the best experience of my whole entire life. Tonight's decision was definitely a hard one, but ultimately came down to consistency throughout the competition and who I think has what it takes to be a beauty superstar. Our first ever instant influencer is... And last... <laughs> and last ever... <laughs> because the show got dropped after this because of James' scandals. Ashley. Deserved. Deserved. This is a total out of body experience. Very much so deserved. Consistent throughout the competition. Deserved. I'm so proud of myself. 
Congratulations. You earned it, and it has been a pleasure watching you kill it every single challenge. The one thing I learned from James during this whole experience is that dreams really do come true. I cannot believe that this is actually happening. It's just been this crazy. James's dreams didn't come true. The show got canceled after this. It's always the right thing to do. And I am so excited to see my son and tell him, like, son, like, your mom's a winner. Like, we did it. Ashley, I have to steal you because we have to go sign off and make your winning video. Woo! Let's go. The other two don't get one. <laughs> Leave this. this is absolutely insane. This is going to change my whole life. Let's make our winning video and our little sign off. Hi, you guys. James Charles here with Ashley, also known as Strash Me. Strash Me. The winner of Instant Influencer Season 1. I can't believe it. My heart is beating so fast right now. This is insane. Thank you so much, James. Thank you, Ashley, for joining us on this competition. And thank you for Good for her. Everywhere. Where can they find you? I love that the other two are just standing out there. Instagram, Strash Me on YouTube, Strash Me with two E's on Twitter, and Strash Me dot E on TikTok. Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you, and I will see you next time. I don't love you. Thank you so much for watching the finale. All right, you guys. We have completed. We have completed. Instant Influencer by Jimothy Charlemay. Well done, you guys. We made it. And congratulations, Ashley. The winner deserved it. She deserved it. Okay.